We know what the tech news is all about. If a story doesn't have computer in the headline, sorry, champ. Not, ish, Get not interested, chief. Get out of here. All right. No thanks. NVIDIA finally announced new RTX 40 series GPUs at the GTC keynote yesterday and proved once again that when it comes to making numbers go up, they really are the best in the business, baby. Oh, yeah. Synergy, model numbers, performance, prices, numbers of buzzwordy technologies all going up and to the right, like a hockey stick, to the moon, baby! This train has no brakes. Oh. NVIDIA said the RTX 4090 is two to four times faster than the 3090 Ti and it'll launch on October 12th for 1,600 US dollars, while the RTX 4080 arrives in November at $900 for the 12 gigabyte version and a whopping $1,200 for the 16 gigabyte version. That's a $500 price bump over the 3080's MSRP. Woo, that's money. Many are already pointing out that Nvidia's own performance graphs contradict that two to four performance claim with four of the five current gen games NVIDIA listed showing the 4090 performing less than two times faster, making those pumped up prices harder to swallow, especially when you realize that the 12 gigabyte 4080 has a significantly cut down CUDA core count, memory bandwidth and power draw in addition to less RAM. Is this even... This what gives? When asked where the RTX 4070 was in today's presentation, NVIDIA told PC Meg that it's coming, which is what you say when you realize you've already announced the 4070 and now have to hiss at the engineers to whip up something else because you renamed it 4080. Oh no, it's like the bear back there. The good news is that Nvidia announced some very promising looking tech advances in DLSS 3 and shader execution reordering, which apparently provide massive boost to ray tracing performance. Maybe that's the two to three X, yeah, huh? Probably. There's so many good words in here. Opacity, micro maps, displaced micro meshes. 2D SGM optical flow, silicon ingrained flux capacitors. That one's made up. That one, <laughs> Nvidia's knocking out of the park with these words. So they're, they're also taking a page from the bad naming handbook that has been oh so very popular this year with the new Quadro GPU called the RTX 6000 ADA generation. Not to be confused with the RTX 6000 from 2018 or the RTX A6000 from 2020. So different. Hey, duh. Jensen, you made so many of the other numbers go up. Why not this one? <laughs> Jensen did confirm that Nvidia plans to keep pumping up the prices, telling PC World's Gordon Ong that the idea that the chip is going to go down in price is a story of the past. Our grandmothers told us about it. <laughs> Leather jackets don't grow on trees, and neither does SAS. Ooh. Thankfully, AMD is doing their part and announced they'll announce new RDNA 3 GPUs on November 3 also. Ooh. The fight rages on. Uncle versus doctor. There can be only one. And streaming video sites you may have heard of, Twitch, YouTube, have announced fairly big platform changes. In response to several high profile streamers threatening a blackout to protest Twitch's promotion of gambling content, the Amazon owned platform banned some types of streams featuring slots, roulette, or dice games. Not to be confused with dicey games. Some, yeah, there's lots of we can all get like that. However, the ban only applies to the streaming of gambling sites that are not licensed in the US or other jurisdictions that provide sufficient consumer protection. And sports betting content is unaffected. So, still gonna be a lot of gambling streams. <laughs> Just less crypto probably. But to make up for this, Twitch announced its top creators would make less subscription revenue. Wait, that's not good. Oh, but. It makes sense because they can only make some of that money back by showing more ads. Ooh, this is a real roller coaster of emotion. As for YouTube, they're expanding monetization, allowing shorts views to count towards eligibility for the YouTube partner program and announcing a 45% ad revenue sharing scheme for shorts. Get ready for a future full of short vertical videos with multiple ad breaks, the way the good Lord intended. It's the best format. Watch me lip sync. Now it's time for the Quick Bits, brought to you by Shadow, the service that lets you stream an entire PC and all its applications across a multitude of devices. So it's not stuck in one room its whole life, which is bad for them. Sad. You get to help this PC see the world, install all your favorite software and games, and access them on laptops, cell phones, smart TVs, and even VR. You're blowing this PC's mind. He never imagined himself in this role. Shadow just opened up availability in Canada this week and started accepting pre-orders for the Power Upgrade, which allows for even better performance, 4K resolution, and hardware accelerated ray tracing. Power Upgrade launches October 26th, so learn more about Shadow at the link below. This video's editor, Marcus, called tech-linked main stories chonky bits, and we just wanted to share that with you. That's kind of cute. 
the trunk bits. Logitech's previously leaked handheld console has been officially announced by the company. It's called the G Cloud. And as some predicted, it's geared toward cloud gaming through Xbox Game Pass and GeForce Now. Since putting Snapdragon 720G chips in a handheld for local gaming would be enough to make a dragon snap. Ah, you know what I- the G Cloud is still kind of confusing though. You can pre-order it for $299. I'm calling that $300. Yep, I don't like this nine dollars $300, but it's apparently a discount off its full price of $350, which is only 50 bucks cheaper than a vastly superior Steam Deck. So almost nothing has been cleared up and I'm still upset. As pointed out by verified USB-C expert Benson Lung, the folks behind USB have apparently decided to have pity on the poor souls trying to decipher their ridiculous naming conventions and will reportedly change USB branding going forward to display straightforward numbers for power and data transfer speed. Humans work there. So instead of seeing super speed USB or USB 4, you'll see USB 240 watt, 40 gigabit per second, or some variation. Uh, so I guess Benson was right when he said this would happen and that we shouldn't worry about USB 4 version 2. But I'm still kind of mad and just let me feel that feeling yeah. until it passes. They, just take it out on you, Benson. There's a certain half life. iFixit has posted a teardown of the iPhone 14 lineup and discovered that the space for the SIM card tray, which was removed for US models, has been filled with a useless plastic block. Yay! Like it's one thing to force the industry towards a new standard, but as iFixit points out, they could have put like an SD card reader or something there, or like a headphone jack or Anything. some battery, or, or instead a little sticker with a f you emoji. <laughs> a little button to press for fun. <laughs> this simply means the US model is straight up less functional than international ones. So that's dumb. Moving on. Modular laptop company Framework, which my boss invests in, has announced that they're working with Google on the Framework Laptop Chromebook Edition. The laptop will obviously focus on long-term repairability with replaceable parts and up to eight years of Chrome OS updates. That all sounds pretty cool. And only for $1,000 USD? No. For a Chromebook? No. I mean, this is gonna outlast my kid's school career. That's true, but it's more expensive than your kid. I just get him to fail a couple times. <laughs> And Star Citizen, the experiment to see how long a game can stay in development and still raise funds, has hit another funding milestone. People, real life people, I don't know who they are or why they're doing this, have contributed $500 million to developer Cloud Imperium Games. I mean, that's that's gotta be enough now, guys. Yeah, I think that's, I think we hit it. It'll probably come out pretty soon. Probably a couple weeks? I say that's enough tech news for now. Come back on Friday for more, and I promise we won't have any news that isn't tech. Uh, we hate that stuff. Gross. Yucky. Yeah. Tech news only. Only the T for me.